Hey everyone, this is Sonia the RV DJ here with you for the walkthrough of my 2021 Forest River No Boundaries 19.6. The camper is 24.4 inches long, 8 feet wide, and the GVRW on the camper dry is 3,397 pounds. It's right there. So we're just going to do a walkthrough of the outside and the inside of the camper. It does come with an electric tongue jack, one bottle of propane, one battery, safety chains, the uh, trailer brake cable, has a holder for your 7 pin cable, battery disconnect, stabilizer jacks, front pass through, and then the front here is your Fresh water connection, your fresh water tank, city water connection. It does have a slide for the one couch. And in the back is your black and gray tank poles, sewer connection. Thirty amp hookup, black tank flush, and your cable hookups. I'm walking around, walking around to the back. It does have a ladder and the cool Novo graphics. I did purchase the spare tire cover separately. Had that made off of Amazon. Just took. Sent them the one logo off the side of the trailer and they made the spare tire cover. And on the door side, it is a rear entry camper. Step above, flip up steps. Over here you have your shower port for your spray nozzle and hose. Two GFI outlets and your water heater, your outside porch light, which you can switch to either amber or white, and your range hood outlet for the fan. 20 foot awning. It also does come with a suburban griddle and counter top that you can slide onto these rails here. Let's take you to the inside. Coming into the camper, here's your furnace outlet. You have a dual wardrobe or pantry closet. I use it for food and stuff on the left side and toilet paper and stuff on the right side. Here you have the bathroom, glass shower doors, medicine cabinet, toilet, as well as the controls for your this is for the bathroom interior light. These are your tank displays, your propane water heater switch, water pump switch, electric water heater switch, your heated holding tank system switches, and your solar charger display. 
camper is solar equipped. There's a 190 watt solar panel on the roof. You can see his reading, the battery is full at the moment. Coming out to the main area under here, you have two USB ports. You have your switch for your accent lighting, which is here and around the back of the counter, the breakfast bar. Two cabinets up top. Does come with that handy little JBL speaker right there, because there is no radio in here. Little spice rack area, and your convection microwave, and it does have a road vac central vacuum system installed. So you would just lift that door with your foot and sweep all your dirt and stuff in there. Here you have another GFI outlet, two drawers for your silverware, more cabinet storage here. It does have a round sink faucet, and there's no sprayer port, tons of counter space, breakfast bar. Don't mind the mess. With two chairs right here. It does come with a 12 volt television. And over here, coming to the bedside, we have two wardrobe closets that are lit inside as well as on the each side for reading. And this is actually a Murphy bed, but we keep it down all the time. You just pull up the uh, the bed, it locks into position right there. And that turns into another couch with storage underneath. And over here is more cabinet space above the second couch, which jackknifes into a second bed so technically you could sleep six uh, four people in here two on there and two on bed does have a 12 volt compressor refrigerator that is magnetic I found that out this morning nor cold fridge and your CO and propane detector and your inverter. I'm sorry, your converter there. And then the solar inverter is actually under the bed. But the switch for the inverter is right here. So when you're boondocking, you use that switch to turn on all your outlets and everything. <clears throat> Here's the lighting for the cabinet, for the wardrobe. USB ports and another set of GFI outlets. And the 13.5 BTU air conditioner. Fire extinguisher, of course. There's the speaker it comes with. There is my awesome key rack made by Vermont Paint and Photo. Bruce, go check out his channel. Very good friend of mine. Awesome artist. He made me that keychain rack right there. And those are all his paintings hanging up on the wall, of course. <laughs> But yep, it does have a light across the top of the front windshield. And there's a set of outlets down there as well.
So I hope you enjoyed this quick little walkthrough of my 2021 Forest River No Boundaries 19.6. Please like the video, share it out, make sure you hit the subscribe button, and we'll see you soon.